Photo moments like this backdrop are a shockingly easy to build way to add a huge statement to your rental inventory or party. This simple project is going to give you the perfect base to add florals, balloons, vinyl, or other decorations to bring your event up a notch. You know the drill, download the PDF in the description and let's get rolling. We're just gonna roll our Home Depot B-roll cause that's where we always start. As a fair warning, you're gonna be grabbing some four foot by eight foot plywood sheets, which will probably require you to rent a U-Haul or a pickup truck. Make sure you find the smoothest three quarter inch sheets possible as the smoother they are, the easier it'll be to get that picture perfect paint finish. Be sure to check if there's any bend in the panels. You'll wanna find the most perfectly flat panels possible. That's so important here. Pick up the rest of the items on your checklist, including hinges, trim, extra plywood, and any tools you're missing. Then let's get to work. We'll get things started by taking the extra plywood you have and cutting it down into support triangles. I cut the triangle sized at 36 inches by 18 inches from scrap plywood I have from all the projects that I work on, but you may need to buy an extra panel or smaller panels. If you're working on these kinds of props, you can never have enough extra plywood. Once you've cut out four triangles, you're going to try and measure one inch by three inch notches in the diagonal of your triangles. First, I measure 18 inches up the long side of the triangle. Then I use my speed square to mark my diagonal. Then I sketch out my little notch, which you'll see in action soon. Use a drill to start your cut, then finish it with a jigsaw. Repeat this process on all of your triangles. To finish your support triangle, cut off its nose like you see here. This will let your supports fold flush with your backdrop, which you'll see in a second. I know this part flies by, so feel free to pause, rewind, whatever it is you need to get this right. Lay down your two plywood panels next to each other and get them perfectly aligned. On the back of each panel, measure 13 inches from the outside edge and attach a one x four plank like you see here. You'll use these as a way to prop up your hinges and plywood triangles to ensure your entire backdrop panel is as flat as possible. Ensure the bottom of your triangle is flush with the bottom of the panel, line up your hinges, and screw it all together. Now here's the cool part. Fold up the triangles, put a one x four plank in the notches, and boom, you have a very functional stand. Go ahead and try to stand up your panels using these new bases and place a weight on the 1x4 cross support. It should stand up perfectly with the weight. Next, we'll add some deadbolts to ensure the panels stay together. I attach them using some scrap wood underneath to allow me to use a thicker, larger screw for a more secure hold. Lastly, cut up your trim of choice with mitered edges and nail them to your backdrops. I found it best to install the trim while the backdrop was actually assembled and standing so I could minimize the appearance of the crease in between panels. All that's left to do now is paint your backdrop. Our client here wanted a cute pink. And there you have it. These backdrops are so cute and so versatile. Balloons, flowers, vinyls, all look great on them. Again, be sure to check out the downloadable PDF for a complete parts list, instructions, and specifications. We hope this tutorial was helpful and we cannot wait to see the backdrops you build. Please, please, please tag us on Instagram, TikTok, wherever you are with your backdrops and be sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel to see more tutorials like this in the future. You can also find more helpful tutorials on our Instagram and TikTok, at bashify.co, along with our event planner course on our website and linked in the description. Let us know your questions and comments, and thank you so much for watching.